My sponsor, Rock Bottom, is currently running a special deal. Head on over to rockbottomcoins.com and use code ZERK at checkout for a 30% off your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be telling you guys the best way to turn training points into coins. Now this has actually changed in the way that it was the best way uh, within the past couple of weeks here with some stuff that has been changing around, uh, especially around the Team of the Year promo that definitely changed it a lot. But basically, if you guys decided maybe you're done with the game for the year, or maybe you wanted to unpower up your team and do an all-time team like I did with the Cowboys team, you guys see I have a very, very large amount of training. I actually had like over 300,000 training. I did convert that to coins, and I'm actually going to show you guys what I did to do that today. So if you guys happen to have a good amount of training, you don't even need a ton to do this. You can just do this with basically any amount. But if you don't need the training points, uh, I will say you're going to need like a little bit of coins. It's really not a lot like you could you could start this off honestly on like 10,000 coins and then just keep compounding from there if you have like 10k coins and a million training it still work so with that being said let me show you guys exactly what to do and if you guys were curious to know exactly what the best way to do was it used to be this set right here the two elite and five go tokens which of course with the training points you can upgrade players to different overalls and use them into elite tokens this was super good for the 89 plus overall team of the week player pack because that pack was really, really valuable during the Team of the Year promo. Now, really not so much. So guys, the best way to actually convert training points into coins is going to be under the exchange sets. And it's going to be the player exchanges. Now, it's down to two sets for me. It's the 88 to 90 or the 89 to 90 overall. And I'll show you guys exactly uh, like how many training points cost to go ahead and do this. But, like I said, you will need to get power-up players to go ahead and do this. Now, you can earn power players from buying them with the auction lock opening packs. Uh, of course, there are like the Ultimate Legend solo challenges, the Legend solo challenge. You can get some Legend power-ups from that as well. So, you technically don't need coins to start doing this if you haven't done those solos. Uh, but this is definitely the best way to do it. 88 to 90... Uh, or the 89 to 90. Now, I'm honestly not sure which one is going to be the best option. I guess it kind of depends on what you pull. So, I made 10 of each, and we're going to open 10 of each packs in this video so you guys can kind of see exactly what you get in terms of what you put into it. But let me get into the actual math and how much these sets cost. Now, obviously, when you guys are doing these sets, you're going to want to go in and pick up some of these Legend Player power-ups. They are definitely the best. And right here is a perfect example. So, we get Dallas Clark here. Now, for one of the sets, it is 288 overalls to 89s. So as you guys can see, taking 76 overall Dallas Clark all the way up to 86 is, or 88 is not a ton of training points, but that is a pretty decent buy for 2,000 coins, probably one of the best cheap ones you're going to get. Now, when it comes to, you know, what overall do you want to go for, 76, 74, 72, uh, obviously it's going to cost you a little bit less training points depending on the overall, but honestly, like, they're usually all about the same coins. Now, that was actually kind of a snipe because you really don't see the even number legend players up for that cheap, as Dick LeBeau is up here for 3,000 coins. We have Chuck Benaric for 3,000 coins as well, but I got him for 2K. So as you guys can see, we're just going to sit here and refresh by all offense, and we're going to go with the cheapest odd number one so we can get the uh, 89 overall player. So we get 75 Franco Harris. And I'm also going to add up how much it costs to get him to 88. And, of course, how much it costs to get him to 89. So, because you guys actually need to go in and pick up two of these even overall numbers. Now, if you pick up two 75 overall legend players to power them up. Because if you're doing the 89 to 90 exchange set, you need two 89 overall cards. So you go through here and you upgrade Franco Harris all the way to 89 overall using training points. That is going to cost you 1,595 training points to do so. So, of course, you're going to need to do two. That is going to be 3,190 training points total to get yourself a 90 overall player. Now, of course, you do have to add in the coins that's going to cost to pick up these Franco Harrises and, you know, the other players, whatever, if you pick up 75, 73s, that it will vary uh, in terms of how many training points. But for 75 overalls, it's not that bad. At all. 3,190, I mean, I have almost 200,000 training. And I'm sure if you guys have, like, a fully powered up team or in general, if you just have maybe, you know, 10K, 20K training, you can do this set a couple of times and turn that into some serious coins. So, picking up two Francos, maybe it'll cost two, 3K a pop. Uh, so maybe 6,000 coins and not that much training to get the 89 to 90. 
Now remember guys, with the odd and even numbers, that's going to determine what overall they can get to. So for Dallas Clark, of course, he goes up to 88. He's the even numbers. So for him to go up to an 88 overall, you need two of him to put it to the 88 to 89 exchange set. You will need 1,095 training points, which means if you pick up two of them, it's going to cost you 2,190 training points to get two Dallas Clarks to 88 overall, or in general, 276 overall powered up legends to power them up to 88 overall so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and get into these packs and we're gonna kind of see you know based off how many training points cost which one is actually better value which one are we gonna get better pulls out of because we have i mean 10 of the 89s 10 of the 90s make sure you guys smack the like button on the video if you guys do enjoy and of course hit that sub button down below as we start off with an 89 jalen ramsey out of the 89 overall elite player pack i don't know how good this is uh obviously ramsey is a Decently sought after card with him having that limited time card. Uh, not too bad, I guess, right there. Next, 89 overall player pack, though. Crap. Did I open up a 90 and then I just opened an 89? I think I believe I did. So we get 89 overall Bryant Young. And no, I opened an 89, so I'm good. Uh, we get 89 Ultimate Legend Bryant Young here. Probably not going to be the most expensive pull. Uh, of course, Ultimate Legends, base elite. It's going to be pretty common out of this pack. I don't know if you can pull the Quick Sell. As you get 89 overall, Kenlin Winslow. I'm not sure if you can pull the Quick Sell players. Like if you got the Quick Sell and Donald, Quick Sell for like 400k or not. But we get a high legend, 89 overall, Paul Krause out of this pack as well. I feel like the best possible pull in this pack are probably going to be like that Jalen Ramsey, uh, Aaron Donald. It's probably like 70k still. As we get 89 overall, Jerry Hughes. Now he, of course, just got that team MVP. This could be interesting. You might be going for a little bit as we have five more packs remaining. So we'll see exactly how many coins we made off of these as we get another 89 overall basically Antonio Brown right there. These packs actually might not be too bad. Like if they drop some sort of promo where some base elites get new upgrades as we get a legend piece. 89 Michael Strahan. Probably not going for the most. I'd imagine our two best pulls are going to be that Antonio Brown uh, and of course the Jalen Ramsey. As we get 89 overall, Barry Sanders as the version 5 of his legend, so that's not too bad there. Final two packs, the 89 overall pack, though. Uh, we get a flashback. Jordan Howard. Maybe if he gets an upgrade, that price will go up in price. Uh, card will go up in price. And on the final 89 overall pack, we get an elite. 89 Luke Keekley. Now, he just got a new upgrade, so he might be going for a little something. So, out of the 89 overall packs, of course, it costs 10 packs. Let's see how many coins you made out of these. So, uh, we got three good base leads. Might be going for something here. We get Keekly, who's about 40k, so that's not too bad right there. Uh, we get Jordan Howard, who is actually a little bit more expensive than Keekly. That's kind of a shock there. So, about 48k. So, we're looking at about maybe 85k. Uh, Barry's listed for 50. I'm going to say 40 because I don't know how much he goes for. So, I'm going to say like 120 We'll estimate around there. 24K for Michael Strand. That's not good. So we'll just go with 140K. Uh, Antonio Brown is going to be 50K. That's not bad. So we're going to bet 190,000 coins so far through five packs. Jerry Hughes, 40K. 230K made so far. Honestly, can't complain, I guess. Uh, next pack is going to be Paul Krause. Or was Paul Krause. So we got 250K so far. Kellen Winslow, 25. Okay, 275. How much is Bryant Young and Jalen? Another 20K. So we're at almost 300K. And finally, we end up with Jalen Ramsey. 50K. So we made almost about 340, 350,000 coins of these 89 overall packs. So that's not too bad. So we made 340K off the 89 overall pack, which obviously is a little bit cheaper to do. So... Let's see if we make some better coins of this 90 overall. Of course, you can't pull any base elites because there are no 90 overall base elites as we get 90 Sean Taylor out of this pack. I, I'm honestly not sure we can pull to this pack that would make it better as we get a high legend, 90 overall Dermani Dawson, version 5 right there. Not bad. Next one we get is going to be a flashback, 90 Alex Smith. Okay, interesting. He just got a team motor card today. Still doesn't have a power up though. Uh, next pack is going to be, what is this, a football outsider? No, actually, yeah, football outsider, Chandler Jones, who, again, doesn't have a power-up. A little bit interesting there. Honestly, the 89 overall packs might just be better to get a 90-0 chill. Corey Davis. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. Okay, we get a full legend here. 90 Lorenzo Neal. Is he going for much? 
I don't know. Let's check his price. But I doubt he's going for that much. So you can't pull full legends out of this as well. There are some 90s like Steve Hutchinson, uh, Lorenzo Neal, Rondé Barbaro. We got his set piece right there. Next pack. Come on. Another flashback. And we get AJ Green, who, by the way, badly needs an upgrade. I'll definitely say that. Next pack, though, we get another big full legend, or not full legend, but a high legend, 90 LT. That's honestly might be the best boy you could get of this pack. And it's going to be another football outsider, 90 True Main Johnson. So out of those 10 packs, did we make 340K or more? I honestly don't know. So we'll have to see. Let's let's count this up and see if we made more coins or if we didn't. So Tremaine Johnson, not starting off too good with 37k right there. Uh, Lawrence Taylor though, dang 40k. Okay, so that's uh, almost 80,000 coins right there. Then we got AJ Green who's going for 38k. So I'll say about 110k. We'll just round down a little bit. We'll say 110. Uh, Rondé Barber is only 35k so really about 145k lorenzo neal 60 okay so we're almost at 200k now i'd say uh we also have Corey davis 35 okay so we're at 235 alex or chandler jones 35 as well so we have 270k alex smith 40. Okay, is the action itself for that much, though? I don't know. 310k, Dermani Dawson, 40. So we have 350,000 coins. And we also got 90 Sean Taylor. About 35k. So we're looking at about 385k versus about 350k. Now, was it worth it? So the difference between powering up Franco Harris and powering up Dallas Clark is about 500 training points. So right now, with that being said, training is about 9 to 10 coins per training point. So if you want to look at it like that, it's about 5,000 coins more per average to go ahead and do uh, one of the 90 overall packs instead of doing the 89 overall exchange. So with that being said, based off of what we pulled, on average, if you do the 88 to 89 overall pack, you can expect to pull about 34,000 coins worth per pack. If you do the 90 overall exchange, you're looking at about 38k per pack. So 5,000 coin difference, and on average, you're only going to make about 4,000 coins more. So in my opinion, I think that the 89 overall league player pack is probably more worth it. Also with the fact that you can, of course, pull yourself maybe, you know... Aaron Donald and some other base leagues I'm sure I'm missing out on that may be going for a good price. So personally, I think the 88-89 overall exchange is probably going to be the better option in terms of value. So hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know down below if this video did help you guys out. Hope it did. I'll see you guys next time.